this is another episode on uh, Microsoft Azure Reference Architectural Practical Series. In this episode, I'm going to discuss the how to create Azure App Service Environment in uh, using the Azure RM templates. So prior to this, I've created another video on the same topic, um, creating the Azure App Service Environment version 3 using the Microsoft Azure portal. But in this episode, I'm going to talk about how to create using the RM templates. So RM templates is something you will be actually using in reality instead of creating any resources using the Azure uh, portal, you should be using the RM templates and automating those RM templates using the Azure DevOps. So uh, it is always important to understand uh, both the approaches um, so that you are comfortable working uh, in a live environment. So let's take a look at the code here. This is the project template I have created uh, previously. Uh, in case if you have missed any of my previous videos, uh, it is always recommended because I'm taking the series uh, in a sequence so that uh, these are all uh, having the dependencies. So I've already created the resource group before that. So this is the empty template I will be using for creating the resource group. That is the step number one. And uh, after that, I created the virtual network uh, using this RM templates. So this virtual network have a virtual network with the subnets. So here is my plan for the entire series. So the series I'm creating for uh, this architecture. Um, this is my high level architecture for my application, uh, which is going to be uh, used in the hosting this uh, one of the website. So in this uh, series, I have to create a app service environment where uh, my web app is going to sit in the separate app service plan. And uh, these are the microservices will be hosted in a separate app service plan within the same app service environment. So I'm going to have one app service environment with multiple app service plans, one for hosting web tier, another one hosting for the app tier. And uh, if I need more and more, I will be able to create more app service plans, but the same app service environment. In case if you have missed, uh, uh, the uh, previous uh, videos, it is always recommended. Uh, in the previous video, I've covered uh, the theory part. Uh, if you want to look at in sequence, uh, you can click on this uh, reference architecture. So these are the chapters. Uh, in the chapter number 12, I discussed the, um, the theory part of the app service environment and also created using the RM templates, uh, sorry, uh, Azure portal. So in this episode, I have created another folder here for the app service environment. Um, I'm following the, uh, the templates which are provided by Microsoft uh, team in the quick start guide, thanks to uh, uh, Azure quick start templates. So these are really helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'll be using this quick start template for creating the app service environment in the existing VNet. So, because uh, think of in the real scenario, you need to create uh, resources in the existing uh, platform. So it is not always possible to create a greenfield. So the template which I'm going to explain here will help how to create the app service environment using existing virtual network. Also, you can have, uh, you can create the new virtual network uh, along with the app service environment. So both the options are possible. So let me walk you through the script. So this ARM template is already uh, created and working. Um, I will show you how to run that. Um, so to save some time, I've already uh, you know, fixed all the issues and run this template and created the app service environment uh, in the Azure so that uh, I can save uh, time and I can explain uh, the actual code. Now start from here, I have RM template and uh, the parameter file. So at this point, I'm mostly focusing on the RM templates. So uh, in subsequent videos, I can uh, walk you through the parameters and uh, you know, extended concepts. So this particular parameter uh, will help you to decide whether you want to create the app service environment in the existing VNet or 
create the virtual network along with the app service environment. So think of this, if you go to the eye level architecture I was showing here in the blueprint. So this is the virtual network. Let's say you have already created a virtual network and the uh, app service environment is going to be in a separate uh, subnet. So um, in case if you want to create a app service environment along with the VNet, uh, you can say, uh, use existing uh, VNet, um, uh, you can say false. So if you want to use the existing VNet and subnet, uh, you can pass the value as a true. This is the uh, parameter used for deciding whether you want to use the existing VNet or create a new VNet. In case if you want to create a new VNet, so you need to pass the uh, all these details. So this is the VNet uh, resource group name. This is the VNet uh, name. And if you see the naming convention, so I'm following the Microsoft naming conventions and uh, those naming conventions uh, I've already prepared in the Excel sheet. So these naming conventions, I've created a separate video prior to this uh, um, so that you will be able to understand uh, what are the naming conventions the Microsoft is recommending. So I'm just going with the same naming conventions. These are resource groups and these are the, uh, this is the virtual network with the subnets and the network security groups. And then uh, when it comes to the past services, I have the app service environment. So that's what I'm uh, going to discuss here. So this is the uh, virtual network uh, see why I'm getting there. So this is the virtual network name in case if you want to create a new virtual network along with app service environment and the location. Um, so the location pretty much will be reading from part of the Azure resource group template. And this is the virtual uh, VNet address prefix. So these are all applicable in case if you want to create the new virtual network along with uh, app service environment. So this, as I mentioned, this flag will decide whether you want to use the existing one or you want to uh, create the new virtual network. So this is for the uh, subnet, uh, subnet address prefix. So this is the subnet will be used and this is a subnet, uh, subnet uh, name. And then uh, these are the subnet uh, details. <clears throat> and then this is the app service environment name. So I am using this uh, naming conventions as per the Microsoft recommendation. Now, uh, the dedicated host count, uh, if you are not clear on the concept on the app service environment, um, so you can look at my previous video where I explained the dedicated host, uh, what is the dedicated hosting, what is the zone redundant. So dedicated hosting is actually giving you the, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the hardware part, complete hardware part. So I'm not going for the dedicated uh, host count or the uh, zone redundant. So that's why the value is zero and false. And here I have the private uh, DNS. So I'm going to create the internal load balancing uh, as part of this uh, script. So this is the internal load balancing mode type internal. So default value is three, which is the ILB ACE, internal load balancing, then network security group. So this is the network security group, which is be assigned to the subnet of the network uh, app service environment. And then uh, these are the network security group rules. And then if you look at, uh, there are some of the variables like uh, unique uh, string, which is actually used for uh, deployment purpose in the bottom. Uh, I will walk through when it comes. And this is for the VNet ID, and this is the subnet ID. So if you look at the actual path, it is actually getting the existing vnet path if it is already exist if you pass the value uh, use the existing true 
and the same thing for the subnet. So it is going to associate your app service environment within the existing virtual network uh, under the subnet along with the network security group. So this is the first thing before running the script. It will have the condition says use existing uh, VNet uh, and subnet. So it is taking the um, opposite of the use existing VNet subnet flag. If I say true, that means uh, it will be false. So uh, that means it is actually going to create the a network security group uh, as part of here. So the type is a network security group. Uh, in case uh, if you want to all uh, use the existing uh, one, then this will be skipped. The same thing here, virtual network, uh, it will not create, rather it will use the existing one. And this is the actual script, which is going to create the app service environment uh, with the app service environment V3. So this is the type hosting environments and the API version. And this is the name of the app service environment coming from the parameter. And then this is the location. And then uh, this is the kind. And then uh, if you see the dedicated host count, which is passed as a zero, I don't want zone redundant. I'm going to create the ILBS. And this is the network ID. So that means it is going to use the existing one. So if you uh, have set I want to create the uh, what uh, VNet along with uh, the script. So you will say false here. That means uh, these two scripts will get executed. So I hope you understand uh, the script here. This is the dependency I was talking about. It, it will have the existing VNet dependency when it creating the uh, app service environment. Again, uh, uh, this is for uh, adding the deployment uh, unit, deployment uh, related information. So I, I don't think you need to worry too much on this one. So that's how the script uh, is for these. These are all uh, uh, thanks to the the uh, quick start template. So all the script uh, I've taken from the quick start template and created it. Now the next step is uh, you need to run this script uh use either you can use the visual studio or the visual studio code i'm more comfortable with the visual studio code so i open the same solution same folder in the visual studio code you see the resource group folder and vnet folder now this is the uh app service environment folder where i have a uh, template and the parameter file and this is the Azure resource group deployment uh, PowerShell script, which I'm going to use to create uh, the RM template here. So this file, uh, it's the same file I've used as part of the VNet creation earlier. So you need to specify the resource group name. This is my existing resource group name. So if you go to the Azure portal uh, in the resource groups, so I have the resource group already created. So the same resource group I'm going to create here. I am going to use the West US as my uh, location. And this is going to run this deployment script. This is the name of the deployment. And then uh, you need to specify the, uh, the name of the file, the RM template uh, location. So since my PowerShell script and RM template both are in the same file, um, so it will recognize the file name when you run this one. So the next step is, uh, I've already uh, created this. So you just, if you are in the root folder, just uh, click on CD and the folder name, and then uh, run this uh, script, uh, PowerShell script. So once you run this PowerShell script, you have to wait uh, almost uh, two and a half, two hours, uh, 40 minutes to see this output. So you will see the blanks, uh, like, you know, after once you run the script, you have to wait um, after two and a half hours, you will be able to see. So in my case, uh, I waited for two hours, 40 minutes or 30 minutes. And after that, I got this message uh, saying that uh, one of the um, script I actually commented, uh, uh, I, I was getting some error, but uh, that is something I have to look into that. 
otherwise uh, this app service environment got created and uh, so these are the details of the app service environment so the name of the app service environment dedicated hosting count and uh, zone redundant so there is uh, uh, i think i still need to take care of the deploy uh, the dns uh, related script but overall when i came back and i can see the app service environment got created here this is the app service environment um so this is the existing uh, vnet and this is the uh, subnet so i don't have app service plan or app services uh, yet so that is the uh, another i'm going to make another video to create app service plans and app services uh, in the existing app service environment uh, using the azure rm template i hope uh, this video is helpful so i will continue this journey to make uh, the entire architecture uh, and working end to end so so far i've created a subnet i i pretty much create discussed a lot of uh, theoretical concepts but now i will be pretty much focusing on the practical part of it so in the first chapter i discussed about the introduction and then I discussed the application high level requirement and the based on the application high level requirement so i discussed about the design principles for the azure and then I discussed about uh, high level architecture which is going to be created as part of this series and then uh, also discuss some of the security concepts and the networking design before creating the uh, virtual network uh, discussed about the uh, uh, the actual setup governance and uh, naming conventions tagging conventions so whatever uh, discussed so far those are all going to be useful uh, in subsequent videos so uh, i hope uh, this video is helpful if you like this video i uh, i'm uh, you know you can always subscribe for getting the alerts when i'm making the new videos so i have uh, plenty of things to cover in the future as part of the series so stay with me uh, thank you very much